out of the <clears throat> two of us, who do you think is more quick to apologize, you or me? Ooh, that's a good question. We don't really have that many tips. No. But I will say, I'm going to say me. <laughs> <laughs> of course you I'm are. I'm going to bet on me, you know. <laughs> I, I, I don't, I think we're about 50-50, but I don't know. What do you think? I think it's me. Well, of course you would. Hey guys, we're back with another video, enough said. Today we have a video from uh, Jamal the Creative. He is a fellow YouTuber, love his stuff, hilarious. So, but I think this video has a very good point. So let's jump right into it. Apologize. This is the lesson of the day. Now, if you and your man get into an argument and you're clearly in the wrong, should you apologize? Yes, of course. Absolutely. Never! Did <laughs> you never? Say sorry to your man, you apologize? Okay. Huh, disgusting. And this is what you do. <clears throat> you got something to say to me? Mm-mm. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Baby, why are you feeling like you should never took that class? <laughs> All right. All right. Now. While this is stylized, it's, it's satirized, <laughs> it's funny. That is kind of how it happens a lot of times. Yeah. I think in 22 years of marriage, obviously I've apologized to my wife several times in those 22 years. And I think you apologize several times in those 22 years. But it never ceases to amaze us how some couples will walk around the house for days at a time. Not speaking to each yeah. other, not touching each other, not any. I, I, I can't do that. It just mm. it's a, it upsets my sensibilities. If me and her have a disagreement, we're done with that disagreement in, within a span of about fifteen to twenty minutes. Yeah, that's maybe thirty, maybe thirty, and that's pushing it. And that's pushing it because because I just yeah. don't. I it's, it upsets the the symmetry of the home. Everybody's off. The kids know something ain't right. <laughs> You know, and it's just crazy. Like, but people will walk. People will come to us, and they they will have not spoken for weeks, yeah, or or or, or at least days. And you're like, how do you? That is dangerous to walk around like that. Mm -hmm. And I know this is funny, and, and Jamal Creative is, is hilarious. But really, it's almost like people are taught to do that. If you can walk around and not speak to your lady for days on end, first of all, that's not a good leader. Mm -hmm. If you we're talking about being a leader in the home. Being a leader means of being a leader in every sense of it. Of it. Yeah. That means that sometimes you're the first to apologize. You're the first to want to make it right because you're the leader of this thing. I can't have my wife walking out this house feeling like their husband doesn't doesn't respect her or doesn't care about her feelings and emotions. That's not a good recipe to having a good marriage. So sometimes as a leader, you have to swallow your pride, men, swallow your pride and say, hey, you know what? Let's fix this. I admit my part, I'm sorry. But then from the female side, you gotta do what? Humble yourself and apologize. Humble yourself. That's one thing, when you, people, when you talk about pride, it's generally a term associated with men. But what I found, and I, I, I'll defer to you, mm -hmm. I found that women are far more prideful than men. Far more prideful. Mm. Think about it. I don't know about far more, but we we struggle with pride as well. I don't know about, I know a lot of prideful men, so I don't know. I know a lot of prideful men, but I also know, like in this scenario right here, women are taught to be disagreeable nowadays. I think yeah. you're thinking about back in the day. Simple right there in the video, where do you think he got that from? Where do you think he got that from? He got that from because he's seen it before. Yeah. Because he was like, you, you got something to say to me? Instead of saying, you know what, babe, you're right, I'm sorry. Nope, ain't gonna say it. And then he threw her behind out because men are getting sick of this crap. Yeah. Men are getting sick of being told that we're always a problem. Mm -hmm. And we're, we're the first ones. But I look at it from a, from a standpoint, like as a married man, this whole home is under my purview. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes I have to do things that I don't want to do. I don't want to get up and go to work every right. day. I don't want to, and I, sometimes I don't want to be the first to apologize, but sometimes I am because that's that's the, for the betterment of the home. That's for the greater good. Out of <clears> the <throat> two of us, who do you think is more quick to apologize, you or me? Ooh, that's a good question. We don't really have that many tips. No. But I will say, oof, 
I'm gonna say me. <laughs> of course you. I'm gonna bet on me. You know. <laughs> I, I I don't. I think we're about fifty fifty. But I don't know what you think. I think it's me. Well, of course you would. <laughs> of course you would. <laughs> you need to apologize now. Anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry you feel this way. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's like the whackest apology. When people say that, I'm sorry you feel. That is the that's like that's like the the big middle finger like to your feelings when people say that. I'm sorry that you felt like you know. Well, <laughs> I, we just wanted to do this video because I think I think it's important for couples to understand that mm -hmm. things are going to happen and feelings are going to be involved and they're going to get hurt and yep. things like that And but you have to look at the bigger picture you got to look at the bigger picture for your relationship for your home and where you're headed and there's nothing wrong with just saying hey you know what I was wrong I'm sorry mm -hmm. and the the offended party should forgive and move on quickly if it was something that was yeah. you know not, not egregious you know obviously if you cheated on me or betrayed my trust, that's going to take time to get over. So right. nobody's saying that. But if it's just like, you forgot to pick up milk when I asked you to, or you forgot my birthday, we, let's move on, guys. Let's just move on. Like, it's not worth all that. Yeah. And I think a lot of couples get hung up on that stuff. And what happens is, and when they end up coming to see us, is they let it build. Mm -hmm. You forgot the birthday. You forgot to pick up milk. You didn't tell me I was pretty. You know, you don't respect me. All these little things, and they pile up, and then next thing you know, you're like, I don't want to be with you no more. But really, what it is, just a bunch of little stuff that piled into a big thing, and so then yep. you, you, that you never work through. You just, nobody ever apologized. Somehow you just work through it, or mm -hmm. you, and, and then that ends up being a big thing. And then we got a big old ball of yarn we got to unravel when you come see us, so. Good video, funny, yeah. Jamal McCrails. Give him a follow, hilarious stuff over there. But for now, that's enough said. That's